Thanks everybody for joining us this morning at Good Morning ILA. We're excited to have Jennifer Jordebrecht here representing LAMA. And I'm going to let Jennifer explain the acronym there because I'm sure I'll mix something up. Um, and yeah, we're just glad to have you here. We have someone else joining, which is also exciting. <laughs> um, so Good Morning ILA is a good way for us to just connect with other professionals here in Iowa, part of the Library Association. Uh, and learn about what's going on within the association, some of our different committees and uh, roundtables and what exciting things we have coming up in the future of the association. So I'm going to admit this other person who's coming in. Let them sort of join up us and then I'll uh, start, we can start our interview portion of the morning. Uh, and so I will let Jennifer talk about herself here for a moment, talking about herself and her association with her, her affiliation with ILA. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good morning. I'm glad to be here with all of you. Um, let me mark that I can. Okay. Um, so my name is Jennifer Jordebrock. Um, I've been the assistant director at the North Liberty Library for the past eight years, and I'm currently the vice chair and chair elect for the LAMA subdivision of ILA. And as Amanda uh, indicated, I prefer to say LAMA because it's much easier than saying Library Leadership and Management Association so, of ILA. So, so um, I'm with LAMA and uh, the other members of our board currently are the chair, which is Julie Finch. Our secretary is Jillian Rutledge. Holly Seeline is our treasurer, and our ILA board liaison is Amanda Bellis. And um, I see some of you are enjoying a beverage right now. Um, in the past year, I've decided to start adulting a bit more and began drinking coffee. And so I got a French press. I'm making my own cold brew iced coffee right now. Um, that's my preferred uh, beverage of choice while I'm at work. Um, and I don't wanna brag, but I think I kind of rival um, Duncan and, and Starbucks as well with my, my mixtures and concoctions and stuff. So, so that's what I like to drink to get my day going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, recently, my journey keeps progressing. Um, I took the next step and bought a coffee grinder. So I did my research and, and bought that. And my first package of beans. I did a lot of research into what kind of beans I wanted to buy. So um, I'm currently finishing up my stash of ground coffee, but I'm really looking forward to grinding that first set of beans. So uh, check back in with me if you want to know how that's going. Um, the reason uh, next that I'd like to share with you that I joined LAMA is because I wanted to volunteer um, back, give back in some capacity to ILA, and I thought that this would be a good, um, an easy way for me to get started and be a good fit with my personal interests. Uh, there's many benefits to uh, being a member of LAMA. Uh, we know that there, uh, somewhere there's a spill. We know that there's a lot of choices you have out there. So thanks for choosing us is kind of uh, what I'd like to say. So there's lots of groups uh, within ILA, um, but some of the benefits to being a LAMA member um, are that we offer the ability to connect with other library leaders across the state. We're working really hard to make LAMA a more active part of ILA. Um, you have opportunities to mentor and be mentored which then helps provide support to your colleagues. We hold quarterly Zoom roundtables, and we've recently started a Discord channel that has replaced the Facebook group, which was not very active. So we're trying to um, focus our efforts you know, um, on what is gonna work for, for the majority of us. And you also will have the opportunity uh, to network at the ILA conference this fall. So um, this is my invitation for all of you. If you are not currently a LAMA member, um, everyone is welcome to join us. Part of the message that we are trying to share is that you don't have to be in an, admin in an administrative role to be a leader or be viewed as a leader within your organization. We want to help and support and develop those necessary leadership skills so you feel confident leading at whatever level you're currently in um, in your library. So there's still time to join LAMA, just simply contact the ILA office and pay your $5 membership fee. So that's my kind of spiel to, to come join us. Um, 
The LAMA committee is committed uh, to nurturing and supporting leadership qualities and skills within LAMA and ILA, as I mentioned. And so to that end, the ILA Leadership Institute will be coming up um, in a few months. So the deadline to apply to attend to that has already passed. However, if you are a LAMA member, um, we are offering an ILA Leadership Institute award. So that's up to $350 for a current LAMA member to apply to that um, Institute. So um, if you or anyone you know has been accepted into that, um, spread the word that uh, the application deadline, I think, closes July 29th. So they can still apply to receive that uh, Institute Award from the LAMA organization. Um, LAMA members are encouraged to interact with other LAMA colleagues by a couple of options. You can post articles or questions to that Discord server. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's a chat app and it replaced our Facebook group. So it's um, like Slack. It's just a professional communications platform. And in our prior roundtable, we kind of had a walkthrough by Jillian on, on Discord. So um, LAMA members have access to that. Um, you also are able to complete our mentor slash mentee interest form, and that enables you to connect with other uh, LAMA members throughout the uh, state to um, both mentor others and receive help in mentoring. Um, as we all know, libraries in Iowa are mostly small and rural libraries, and so um, if you're just kind of starting out, that might be hard Um to know who to turn to. Um, our state reps are really good at helping us, but I think it's always important to kind of have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with others as well. And you can also suggest ideas on how you want to make the most out of your LAMA membership. We want to hear from you guys. So um, once you're a LAMA member, you receive this wonderful um, email, I'd say letter, but welcome letter uh, with all the links um, that I just mentioned. And then a few minutes ago, I mentioned our quarterly roundtable. This is our third one that will be coming up on September 8th at 2 p.m. We're going to discuss the tool when to meet, and our topic will be either on mental health or self-care. So um, you're welcome to join us for that. And at the end of that, we also have time for all the members to kind of connect and support each other and whatever, whatever that means. Um, and then you're going to get a link with that uh, Zoom information as the date draws near. So mark September 8th on your calendar and hope you can join us. And um, finally, I mentioned the opportunity to, to network at the ILA conference in Coralville this fall. Um, so the LAMA, we're really excited. Um, the LAMA subdivision has invited some very special guests to the conference. I don't think I'm at liberty yet to share that. I'm not sure where we are in that. I mean, I might know, I don't know if anyone here is on the planning conference committee or not, but there's some very special and cool guests uh, that will be coming to the conference on Thursday night, which is October 13th. Uh, we're going to be meeting here at the North Liberty Library and a chance to meet our special guests um, and then a chance to also connect with other uh, LAMA and ILA members. So. Um, look forward to that. Put that on your uh, conference schedule to come meet our special LAMA guests. And um, I am more than happy to chat or um, I know there's some people just joining us. So if anyone has any questions, I'm happy to, to chat more. So Jennifer, I will say that there is a sort of announcement about the special guests on the Discord announcements channel. Uh, so I, I assume you're at liberty to say, but that's okay. up to you. I'll let you take that risk. <laughs> okay, great, great. Well, and I was just, uh, before we were logging in and starting here, I was just pulling up all of my um, social media stuff and I didn't get the Discord channel pulled up yet. So <laughs> since Amanda said it's out there, um, we will have some special guests from Prairie Patch Farms joining us. And we th felt it was quite appropriate as a llama subdivision to invite the llamas to actually come and uh, meet and greet us. So we will have some llamas. Um, Earl will probably be coming. He is always a featured guest on their um, little road trips. Um, Prairie Patch Farms is a wonderful farm in between Cedar Rapids and uh, North Liberty. And she uh, offers, you can go out and walk the llamas. 
um, and do Zoom meetings with the Lama. So if your library is actually looking for a program, she kind of goes within a radius of us to uh, take them out to you. They do Lama grams. So they come in like for your birthday or special occasion, you can have a visit from the Lamas. So my whole family actually went and took a hike with them last fall. It was lovely. So um, we will have some very special Lamas come um, to the North Liberty Library. We're working through like how to... Uh, connect with uh, carpooling and things like that from the Coralville uh, conference um, up to, we're about 15 minutes from the conference. Um, uh, then we will be able to meet and greet and learn about the llamas, take some selfies and pictures with them and uh, come in to our library. Um, so we're working through all the details, but come see the llamas. They're very cool. You'll have a fun time. You heard it here first, if you didn't read Discord. <laughs> So if someone wanted to join the Discord server, how would they go about doing that? Who should they contact? Um, so thank you for that question. So um, if uh, if you are a Llama member, you would have gotten a welcome email that had that link. I can also send it to you if um, in the chat. I see that there's... Um, Okay, so uh, we can, um, I can send that link to you. Um, you just have to create an account in Discord then. Um, I don't have the actual link with me. Is anybody on Discord for other other things? I am part of a Pride Comics book club and we do everything through Discord, but I know there are plenty of libraries that use it for their work work purposes too. <laughs> <laughs> and as I mentioned in our um, previous uh, roundtable, we kind of posed that question to people as, you know, not as many people were posting to the Facebook group. And so we kind of transitioned that to that Discord group. So we're hoping, um, and that's my bad for not pulling it up right now, but um, yeah, if you're a Llama member, you'll have access to that. And just, um, I can put my email in here um, in the chat and then um, feel free to connect with me um, if you need help getting into that. I think Holly's on here as well, not to put her on the spot, but she might have the um, contact or how to get into that as well. I don't. I'm sorry. That's why I didn't. <laughs> I, Ankeny blocks a lot of stuff and, and those types of resources are blocked for me. So I just didn't pay attention. <laughs> no, no. Jillian problem. Rutledge. I think Jillian Rutledge had it when I asked. Yeah, her yeah Jillian. I should. She had to get it from Jillian Rutledge. So yeah. Uh, might be a good person to email with that request. And I, I just will put my, Jillian's in the chat. Yeah, and I just put my um, email and yep, Jillian's is in there too. So if you send it to us, I can get it looked up and send you how to, to get set. And I believe if you're not a LAMA member, but you've already signed, sent your ILA um, form in, it's a simple process. You can literally call the ILA um, organization and just ask them to add you to the llama subdivision so Jennifer did you send your um email to everyone in the chat? no but it looks I... like I just sent it to Holly um oh, okay <laughs> oh as I told my staff here it's been a Tuesday so let me <laughs> let me send it not just to you but here we go I'll type it in now <laughs> thank you for catching that Amanda you're welcome I was going to grab, but that sounds good. So uh, does anybody else have any other questions for Jennifer or I guess Holly about uh, Llama or other upcoming events? Okay, that should have went out to everybody now. Jennifer mentioned that she is looking forward to um, grinding her first coffee beans here pretty soon. and. Um, that you had just bought a grinder. So I was really curious what kind of grinder you bought because that's the thing that I care about. <laughs> I, I had the notes. I didn't want to go into too much detail, but um, you know, as a librarian, I did my research and it's a burr coffee grinder. Um, and uh, it's like the regular grinders, it, they can get stuck and stuff and not dish in any of those, but um, it's just for coffee. I'm not going to do spices or anything in it. And so just however those blades work, um, it's supposed to chop those beans up and I got like 16 different settings and for cold brew you want coarse beans so it can go from like very fine and that's if you're doing I think the espresso and, and those fancy things but uh all the way to the cold brew which is the coarse so yes I'd love to chat about coffee because I'm a newbie still into that so 
Well, if you ever decide you want to start roasting your own beans, I know where you can get them and uh, a couple of good air roasters. So, okay. Well, that's going to be like next year. Cause I've got to like step, step through this process. It was months. I'm in my, doing my cold brew right now. I really enjoy that. Um, I felt like, you know, very proud to actually buy a, a grinder. So I will connect with you when I'm ready to start roasting. Maybe this should be like a, like a pre-conference or something. Everybody comes in and shares you know, all of their tips and tricks for their best, like work, work, drink, whatever that may be. I know Andrew is here and he just started working here with me at Dubuque County recently. And I like texted my best friend. I was like, he brought a tea steeper, like a travel mug. I was like very impressed because I need one of those actually. Yeah. But (laughs) some of us take it very seriously and some of us, you know, get what we can and take that very seriously too. Holly's you're muted, but yes, you're lots and lots of Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my uh, pre-conference. <laughs> I will often come back from lunch with like a sugar-free Red Bull or something like that, but I don't use coffee in the morning. But. Oh, I don't. It seems like we're maybe getting more into the, like the social time of this. So I'm going to say thanks to everyone. Thank you, especially to Jennifer for sharing about Llama and the exciting round table that's coming up and the special guests that we'll have at ILA. Um, and we hope that we'll see you all again next month at our next uh, Good Morning ILA. And we'll have Megan Klein Hewitt, the treasurer of ILA here to talk about the finance committee and uh, other financial information about the uh, association. So thank you.